What do bread, cheese, and soy sauce have in common? They are diet staples of billions of people around the world, and they are produced by fermentation. These foods and many others are made possible by the use of enzymes in food production. Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan, and welcome to BioBites. So, what exactly is fermentation? Well, it's the conversion of the carbohydrates in milk, meat, fish, vegetables, cereals, and other organic matter by microorganisms or enzymes into acids or alcohols. Milk, without refrigeration, will spoil very quickly. But if you turn that same milk into a hard cheese, it can last for many months. This is particularly important in developing nations that lack or are limited in refrigeration capabilities. And it is one reason why fermented foods make up about one third of the diet of humans today. People have been preserving food with this process for thousands of years. So biotechnology is really just inventing new ways to improve this old process. Researchers are now utilizing and modifying enzymes to make fermentation more efficient and also to increase the quality, safety, and product consistency of preserved foods. Enzymes aid in the manufacture of fruit juice, corn syrup, candies with soft centers, beer, cheese, sausage, and many other foods and drinks. In fact, food producers use over 55 different enzymes to make many basic elements of our diets. Biotechnology also makes food enzymes more widely available. Chymosin, an enzyme used to make various cheeses, occurs naturally in the stomachs of calves, lambs, and baby goats. By modifying the genes of microorganisms, scientists have now created a way for yeasts, molds, and bacteria to produce chymosin, eliminating the reliance on livestock for this enzyme. Scientists also are improving the production capabilities of the food industry as a whole. One bacterium used in the production of many yogurts and cheeses is vulnerable to viral infection. Using recombinant DNA technology, researchers have made some strains of these bacteria resistant to viruses. This means that fewer batches of cheese have to be thrown away due to contamination, resulting in abundant, healthful, and less expensive food for people worldwide. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.